Hi, I'm Brett from Learn Thai from the White Guy, and this is Jeremy from Vietnam. And I've been in Vietnam now for maybe about three weeks, and I've spent a bit of time learning the language bit. I'm pretty terrible, but I, I have noticed that they have this one sound that a lot of people have trouble with in Thai, so I figured we'd talk about it really quick. So in, in Thai, the letter that I'm speaking of is Tha Tha, and that's the turtle letter if, if you've looked at any of my materials. The, the, the name of the letter is turtle. So in Vietnam, they have this thing, this same sound, which is, I mean, how do you say the letter? Th or something? Or? Okay. Th. Th. All right. So this is often transliterated, the, the, the Thai letter, and I mean, the Thai letter is often transliterated as a D and a T, uh, and sometimes people confuse it with a TH, and it's, it's none of those really. So when you say a D or a T, assuming this is the roof of my mouth, your tongue is sort of in the middle, like in this area. But when you say this, this th letter, your tongue has to go behind your top teeth. Pretend like there's a turtle stuck at the top of your back teeth, and you gotta kind of push them off. There's a little bit of pressure as you say the sound, you, you pop off of it, like, ta, 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 I don't know, what are the vowels got? Ta, 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 if you're putting your feet on the wall in the pool and you're pushing off the wall, oh, like, and, and you push off into the bowel because your tongue will be free when you right. the sound. And I also kind of think it's if you, if you close your mouth and you try to let your tongue break through your teeth, yeah, but, you're it, but push, it can't get through. Right, that you're pushing off the wall in the pool. That's right. my analogy there. <laughs> you're trying to have your tongue go through your, your teeth that are closed, but yeah. it can't. Instead, you got to make that noise. Right, so, and just add any vowel and then practice it. You start with like, da. Do, de, de, and then you can get into the harder vowels later on. But get the sound down first on one or two vowels, and then try to practice it with other vowels. Da, de, do, de, do, or whatever. <laughs> or do, de, do, or whatever. What does that mean? Uh, I mean, do, do, a few of those are words. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, not important. Not yeah, important. I'm just trying to say, you know, you get the sound because everyone's like, you know, everyone says like what we were saying. If you say like a, if you say like a T or a D sound in Vietnamese, no one's gonna understand what you're saying. How do you say I? Doi. Doi. Right? You right. can't say toy or doi. Right. I think the problem is to us, or you know, as English speakers, well, we don't differentiate those sounds. We don't really have that sound. We don't differentiate it, but it's it's for them the other side is the it's difference totally between different. leave and live. It's the difference between like deck and dick. It's totally <laughs> different. Exactly. Kick and, and gig. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 totally different. And it changes the meaning. It sounds nobody you know, and you can't get upset if people don't understand you. You have to get these sounds correct. Yeah, just be patient. Yeah, well, just get it done. Alright, that's all.